Capricorn, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for this week ahead. All right, Capricorn, let's just dive right in. Um, it, uh, anyway, this is the full oracle card spread. I'll also turn the camera around so I can review the cards with you. And then we'll move into, there's an extended link below for the full tarot card spread and the uh, romance reading. So we'll get into that later. But this is the Capricorn energies. Capricorn energies for the week ahead. Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising. Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Rising. Oh my God, okay, you guys, I can feel already that there is a sense of shaking, shaking nerves, uh, shaking what's gonna happen, what, what, what's she gonna say? This almost like could something, this feeling that you get only when you've been pushed to the very edge. Um, a shaking, a shaking of could anything get worse? What, maybe I don't even wanna hear what she's gonna have to say because it's almost like you feel like you've been pushed to the very edge. I can feel you just quaking inside. There has been something going on that has sort of brought you to your knees and made you question everything about you and who you are. Um, and this is a time for being stuck. This is that energy of not understanding or not knowing where you belong or what is happening. So you really, at this point, your life or yourself, when you look into the mirror, might be a little bit un unrecognizable. Or you've been waiting for news or waiting for word and you haven't heard. So you're sort of in this horrible state of limbo, this feeling of being completely and totally out of control, which makes you feel completely and totally helpless. And not only helpless, but worthless. It's not that this is a bad place, but it's it's the effect on how it's making you feel that's really, really bad. And this could make you feel almost sick inside because you do feel, you, you feel, oh, but this is a time of transcendence. And I've, I've had this feeling for you guys. This is a time of transcendence. You could be dealing with Scorpio, but you've just come out of Scorpio season and something that you were building or weaving during Scorpio season, there's something that you have been casting or creating or manifesting, there is a sense of, of you, it's, it's not over, it's not over. There's a sense of it being resurrected, an opportunity coming to you that you have manifested. There's a sense of um, coming back to life. So I understand, see, make your dreams real. Right, so you taking charge, taking a lead, and let it shine, and you being yourself out loud. This is a really powerful time for you. The problem is you don't feel like it's a powerful time for you because it's not you, it's not where you're comfortable, but that's maybe why it's such a powerful time for you, Capricorn, because you don't feel comfortable because it's going to challenge the best of you. And it's, I know, and I can hear you saying, well, why does my life have to be always so damn challenging? Let's figure that out. Whether we do it over in the Oracle cards or the Tarot cards, we're gonna figure it out. There is definitely, I feel like something, um, I, two different readings for this word. Um, this, is, this is a time when things, when you're building something completely new. When you're rising, this is the Phoenix rising. This is rising out of the ashes. This is, the ashes have come first. This is coming from the ashes though. I think it, at the very least this week, you're going to get some information that sheds some light on your circumstance or situation. Be at home. You're feeling really out of sorts. Your heart chakra is very much maybe closed off or burnt out. Um, you feel like you've lost your way. That's what it is. It's almost like, or maybe literally you are traveling this week, maybe, because I know the holidays are coming up, maybe you're leaving home and traveling to the place of your beginnings. That's what I, that's what I, that's the best way I could explain it. It's almost like coming back to, coming back to your origins to start from scratch, to rebuild your life. Oh, um, hold on a sec, hold on, tap report. I apologize, guys. Hold on.
I apologize for the interruption. I know that you guys probably didn't feel it, but I did. Anyway, this that would be a good place for me to put in a commercial. Let me do it since I've already broken the, the broken the broken into the message and I will be right back, I promise. So thank you so much if you just sat through a commercial that actually sponsors the channel. So whether you realize it or not, it's actually a donation to the channel. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching that commercial. Um, oh boy, there's a lot on the table and it's almost like, basically what happened was my tarot cards fell over, but one card fell out and it was in reverse and that was the hermit in reverse. And I can't help but listen to that. Hermit in reverse is somebody who chooses to go into their own isolation. And that's what I feel like you really need. You need almost like um, a soundproof chamber. Almost like one of those tanks. Um, what do they call it? The, the sensory deprivation tanks. Maybe I've said this to you before. There is an, a sense of you, you just, it, you being so uncomfortable in the state of where you are right now that you, your nerves are starting to be fried and this could actually start to do really weird things to you, like physically to you. So I really want you to, to take care of yourself this week. There's this feeling that you really need to get wrap yourself up in self-care. It's not about protection. It's about taking this time that is not described. It's not defined. And, and using it to heal, to let yourself feel again. There's, there's been a shakeup at home. Be at home. It's almost like you don't want to be at home. It's almost like you, you don't feel like there's a reason to be at home anymore or that you don't have a home anymore. This is once again reflecting back to this sense of um, sort of pers like um, um, identity crisis. Who am I? Um, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. This is the last thing that you want to hear right now, though. You don't want to hear the hold on. You don't want to hear why you have to wait anymore. And I think that that's part of what's fraying your nerves is that you feel at this point in your life, you should be where you want to be and you shouldn't have to be worried or move around anymore. This is a sense of not feeling, a feeling angry at where you are right now. What I can say is this, that anger isn't going to get you anywhere. And, and I know that you probably already know that. And so trust yourself if you don't trust me. Because you, this is a Cancerian energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer. cancer or this is just a Cancerian um, energy of nurturing, feeling at one with your emotions, letting things go with the flow. In other words, totally and completely giving up control not making any decisions at all and getting comfortable without making those decisions because you realize that trying to superimpose what you want into the situation isn't doing you any good. So it's literally just trusting and having faith. I feel like you did already try try to build something and it ended up basically casting you out or it ended up basically crumbling down around you. So. Capricorn, this isn't a bad week. This is a recovery from some a, a bad something, right? This is the week where you are challenged the most to find who you are. And when you find who you are, you find these beautiful opportunities. And you may just see that it was never what you thought it was. That whatever this opportunity was was never really completely and totally what you thought it was or there is still things that have to be revealed there's something maybe um conflicting or or um a sense to be at home you don't get to be at home though i feel like maybe that you guys are traveling there's a sense of not getting to be at home like i said once again not feeling at home with yourself but your home could be at risk or you could have been wanting to move and now you can't. There is a sense of displacement. That's the, that's the best way I can explain it. The abundant universe will provide. So you're going to come back from this is the message. It's going to take you giving over to spirit and just trusting the flow. And there's no more to it. There's no more why or how come or explain things to me. 
it's almost like you're not supposed to have them explain. That's part of the challenge. Part of the challenge is you don't get any insights or you don't get any tips. You don't get any hints. Then the stress is that all of this input is now hitting you all at once and you don't have anybody to help you understand it or filter through it. And the issue with that is Capricorn, it makes you frustrated and it makes you frightened and that makes you very reactionary. So the best thing that you can do for right now is, what is it? The crowning energy. Embrace the in-between. Embrace this feeling of I don't know. Embrace the feeling of I don't know what's coming down the road and I don't even want to put my mind to making the decision. Don't. I think that that's a good decision to not make any decisions. I do feel like you may have gotten caught up with a Scorpio who may have made you feel like there was going to be something going on between the two of you and then it didn't happen. Or you were severely disappointed in who you ended up finding. Whatever this connection was or this opportunity was that you were trying to weave, you ended up finding out something about that opportunity or that circumstance or even that person that was not what you thought it was. This is this is dis a sense of disappointment. But the universe is pulling you away. Here's the strongest message for this week. The universe, Capricorn, is pulling you away from this circumstance toward more abundance. And you don't see it now. This is your energy. This is also Taurus energy. You may be meeting a Cancerian or may be drawn to a Taurus energy. There's a sense of let the waves pull you because you are being pulled in this way for the right reason. And the reason why you maybe feel stuck in the in-between is because you're trying to tread water. You're trying to take action. You're trying to do something. And it's in that trying that you catch yourself up in this whirlwind. So what you need to just do is like lie back and really do what you don't want to do, which is relax this week. Um, Magic works through you and the abundant wor uh, universe will provide. Slow and steady wins the race. The abundant universe will provide. Okay. 10 is the end of a cycle. 8 is infinity. So there was some sort of destiny in this moment. This was a benchmark that you were supposed to arrive at or a life lesson that you were supposed to learn. And then you have the ending of a cycle. So you've, what, what I tell you this all the time, Capricorns, you've already earned the abundance that's coming toward you. Even if it hasn't been, it, you're, you're being recognized. The, the magic works through you. People know your value. They know your worth. For some reason or whatever reason, maybe you're questioning it. Maybe you're just questioning what you wanted, how, maybe you're questioning yourself and that's why you feel so disconnected because you're questioning, but how hard do I have to work to get this kind of respect? How hard do I have to work to get this kind of abundance because it doesn't feel abundant to me? I'm putting all of myself in. I'm putting too much of myself in and now I feel like I don't have a self left. This is a sense of exhaustion, but from you, the universe, on the other hand, and I got this daily reading. If I could, well, there's, it was either the Cancerian reading that I did recently, and if so, I'll attach it right above head, or it was a daily reading. Oh, then no, what was the Cancerian reading? It was that it was that same mentality. You may be dealing with a Cancerian. Yeah, something is really broken down. Uh, I'm sorry, you may be dealing with a Cancerian because it was that same feeling of, um, what was it that I that I named the, um, you may not see the big picture, but the big picture sees you. And so it was taking basically a, a leap of faith and just letting God take the wheel. That's exactly what it was. <clears throat> Right now, you feel like your life is upside down. There is amazing stuff coming, and it's been taking a while to come. Lay a solid foundation. Oh, boy. But this is upside down. So this is whatever the foundation was that you thought was solid, it just got ripped up, and it tore like cardboard. And I think that, and that's why it's breaking your heart so much. Like, 
How could I be so off? How could I not have seen this coming? Or why is this happening to me? Because I worked so hard. I worked so hard. That's the problem though, isn't it? Isn't that the pattern? Isn't that the consistent pattern? You work so hard. But when do you get to the point where you love your life so you're hardly working? That's what I wonder. And I feel like that's why the, the foundation wasn't as solid as you think. Because it was almost like a material that required you to keep churning it and churning it and churning it for it to remain in the same place. And once you stop churning it because you needed to just take a breath, all of a sudden now, all of a sudden now, oh my God, I apologize. All of a sudden now, you, you had, like you're human. You had to take a breath and everything collapses. What? That was never a solid foundation. That was a house built on sand. That was a house built on sand that looked absolutely beautiful. And it's over now. And it's good. This is Virgo energy turned upside down. Virgo is the sand. And this is sort of deceptive sand. Making it <clears throat> look like it could hold you up when it couldn't. There, or at the very least, the foundation wasn't as solid as you thought it was. So now you know where the cracks are. And we have a whole mess of other... Oh, this is really interesting energy. Take the lead. Trust in divine detours. Trust in magic. How many... Like all these cards are saying, listen... You're being redirected in a new direction because that new direction was where you're supposed to go. And it does have something to do with love or something exciting, meeting somebody that excites you, um, or just basically being happier with everything that you are and feeling more connected to spirit and to a source energy. This is you taking the lead by allowing spirit to take the lead. You will take back your life by allowing it to be handed back to you. Right now, you can't grab at it. You, whatever the direction that you were going in was, you were not supposed to go in that direction. Trust that you were redirected for a reason. I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can review the cards with you, hold on. You see, this is the energy that's crowning you, right? That tells me everything that I need to know. Embrace the in-between. This whole reading is about learning to feel comfortable in a situation that you hate, which is a situation that you can't directly control. But you can control it by letting it just take over you and going with the flow. These three cards came out last and look at them all together. Follow. Follow where you're being asked to go. Even if you're unsure, you're going to be re redirected this week, Capricorn. Trust that redirection. Trust it because it is magical. Look at this. Trust in the magic and magic works through you. There has been a, a detour in your own sense of self because you are the magic. Trust in yourself. This is going to come through. First of all, it's a message saying that, yes, you can make it. Yes, you can do it. No matter how bad things look or how uncomfortable you are, you absolutely have everything in you to survive this. You 100% do. There's absolutely no question. And let that abundance come through you. You have enough. There is something about you or your resources all around you. It absolutely has enough. Take the lead. Take the lead by following by following along in spirit. I have to say this. It's almost like. It's almost like. This could very well be you looking at somebody else. And finally seeing a different side of them. And like I said, being disappointed in what you see. There's a mentality here of looking at somebody as if they were everything. And then seeing that they're not as consistent. And if you 
if this has to do with a specific person, if, or even a specific job, if you start over with this person or this role, you're never really going to be able to see them the same way again. So, yeah. Interesting. Make your dreams real and let it shine. You know what I'm picking up here, Capricorn? Do not be ashamed of all that you desired. Do not be ashamed that you laid yourself bare. What I'm saying, plain and simple, Capricorn, is this was, this, you may have taken the brunt of it, but it wasn't your mistake. It was somebody else's. Like the people that you were, like the, so, whether you're dealing with being, uh, losing a job or breaking up with somebody or missing out on an opportunity, you weren't the one that made the decision to do it. They were the one that made the decision and they made the wrong decision. Okay. They made the wrong decision. And there's nothing that you can do about it. And I can feel the frustration in you because you, beyond any reasonable doubt, were absolutely certain that this was supposed to happen. And then it didn't. So what does that tell you about your relationship with spirit? What does that tell you about how in tune you are? Maybe that's why now you're doubting yourself because you're like, I, I thought I knew what was right. I thought I was doing everything right. Okay, then... Cut back on the thoughts and just literally float. Because basically, I think what, what you're really being asked to do is say, okay, clearly I know nothing and now I just need you to lead me. Please just take me whatever direction you need me to go because every time I've tried, I end back broken. And I, wanna, I don't want to be broken anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and ride that current. And I'm telling you, this current, once you get on it, is going to take you to abundance. There's going to be magic that's going to happen. Something that you never even realized, a connection that you never even realized, or maybe even a connection that you totally and completely forgot about that, that fell apart before is coming back around. You're being redirected because you're, you, you're supposed to have a new opportunity in that direction. This is all very interesting. I'm going to go, I want to pull some cards for you, Capricorn. I'm going to do a whole tarot spread and do your romance reading. Let's really dig into where all this is headed and why it happened. I will see you over there. The extended, um, the extended link is in the description box.